Tomato spotted wilt virus. Symptoms. Initial symptom is the blighting of young leaves with purple or brown spots on the leaves. It usually appears on the upper part of the plant. Purple streaks and small dark brown spots appear on stems and young leaves, sometimes forming concentric rings. As they coalesce, they cover large patches of the blade, eventually leading to necrosis of the tissues. Dark brown streaks may be visible on stems and petioles. Plants show stunted growth or may exhibit one-sided growth. Severely infected plants bear immature tomatoes with mottled, like green and raised centers. On ripe, red fruits, striking brown rings accompanied by chlorotic spots and blotches makes fruits unmarketable. Transmission Tomato-spotted wilt virus is transmitted by various species of thrips, including the western flower thrips, the onion thrips, and the chili thrips. Tomato-spotted wilt virus is also active in the thrips vector and can transmit it persistently. Nymphs will retain the ability to transmit it for the remainder of their lives. Control Some predatory mites feed on larvae or pupae of thrips and are commercially available. For varieties that attack the leaves and not the flowers, Try neem oil or spinosad, especially on the undersides of the leaves. In case of flower thrips infestation, some predatory mites or green lacewing larvae could be used. A combination of garlic extracts with some insecticides also seem to work well. Effective contact insecticides include azotorachidin or pyrethroids, which in many products are combined with piperonal butoxide to enhance their effect. Plant-resistant tomato varieties, as they do not require insecticide applications against thrips to control the dispersal of the virus. Use sticky traps over a large area for mass catching. Control weeds in and around the field by using highly reflective UV mulch to ward off the thrips. Thank you for watching.